Do we have it? Are we good? I just need to put all this together. So I so they're like we're at right where I need them. Hey guys! So first I want to start out is that I lost my tripod. I lost my new tripod. I'm very sad. I thought it was in my boyfriend's um, camera bag when we went to Disney, but no, it's not there. But this video is not about me talking about losing my tripod. It's actually a DIY. Of course, you guys read in the title. It's a DIY. Um, I always forget the name. Binoculars. I don't know why, but I always forget the name of what I'm making. But yes, DIY binoculars. And this time, it's not going to be music in the background. It's just going to be me talking. And it's been a, a long time since I've done a DIY video, so I thought, why not I start now? So, what I have for uh, this DIY is two empty uh, toilet paper rolls and I've been literally collecting these brown black and green paint brushes yarn and I have a glue stick over here that is heating up for later so I think I'm just going to start painting these should I paint these first or wait for the I'm just going to paint these. So, got my napkin here. No, actually, I'm just going to hot glue these together. So, let's just do that. Get these two together. Awesome, I got it together on one try. Yeah, I got these together on one try. Ah, I can feel it. Ooh, it's burning through. Oh, by the way, you guys, just to let you know, it's a, what the heck was that? I'm editing my Disney video, so you probably you you'll probably see that before this. If you guys did see my uh, Disney video, uh, type Disney in the comments below, or Disney trip, Disney or Disney trip, in the comments below. Oh, there's a hole right here. I shouldn't. Uh, oh well, too late. I can try to paint over that. Got these two together. Now, let's glue. Glue. I already glue them. Let's paint them. <laughs> so, how about we start painting this brown first? Okay, that took a while to do one side. I have an idea. I have a freaking idea. Let's try this. Let's try this. Ooh, careful, Allison. Okay, let's get this over in paper towel. Or, yeah, paper towel. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Go me. I'm barely getting paint on me except for the one on my finger. Rock on! I did it! Yeah! I did good. I just need to do it one more time on this side. What is this? That was the glue. Awesome. Last but not least. Again, a lot. Not a tiny dab. I'm trying to do like a tiny dab but it's not working for some reason so I just have to go with what I got now I just have to let this dry and wash my brush probably choose a different brush and paint the rest with a 
black and green. And I'll be right back. I am back. Uh, this is right now like partially dry, which I actually wanted like that. So I can start painting other colors like the green and black. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I think we're going to go with this brush. I changed my mind. I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to go all over it a little bit. Just like a few strokes. Okay, it kind of looked like I made a leaf right here. Not trying to, but I kind of like it. I think I got it. I do want a little bit green on my brush and go with the black. Okay, it kind of feels like that I'm trying to do like different color zebra stripes. But it'll be fine. I can just go over again with the brown. Got it. There's like a little paint going off the edge over here. Try not to get it like that. Eh, I think it's okay. Okay, I have a question. Did I say what this was for? Well, it's for my son. <laughs> So my brushes are clean, and it just came to my head. I should put like a black ring around here. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I thought I was done, I guess not, because I, it came to my head that I should put a black ring around here. Got this all done. Now I just need to wait for this to dry and paint my, uh, not paint, uh, wash my brush again. And yeah, this will be done. Well, after I, uh, decide what to do with the yarn. I'm probably going to poke a hole in this. Nah, I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to hot glue it to the side. What's, what sucks is that I just unplugged my hot glue gun before I started painting the ring. And now I need to plug it back in so I can use it. Here's yarn. I'm going to probably, probably about this much. There. And now the fun part of the glue stick. On. My dogs want to go outside. Okay, that's my fault. They both, all my dogs literally just ran to the door when I said uh, outside. Ah, no, no. And my finger got stuck. There. What I'm doing is uh, putting more glue over the yarn. Trying to make it dry. What's that? Ah! I thought it was warm. I thought it was warm. It felt dry enough to be warm. Oh my gosh. There! I got it! Ta da! Feels like it's big enough to be around me. I don't know if it'll be big enough to be around my son. I see you! Oh wow. I did good. There's like literally a hole right here. I'll probably like put another video in front of me. But yeah, there's like literally a hole at uh, at the top of this. So I got this down and I got this down enough. And it's the best thing I can do right uh, right now. But I did good for my first time, and I do not want to break this because I have long hair. And this is for my son. I just want to try this out wearing around my head. And when my son wakes up. I'm going to show this to him. So mama got a surprise for you. Yeah! Huh? Huh? It's called binocular. Huh? What's up? Ah! It went over <laughs> See, I see you.
I see you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me making the binoculars for my son. Bye. And <laughs> like my son said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like this video if you did. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!